Hi everybody, this is Steve, not Udon. Today we're gonna to talk about a new shoe that came out um, from Adidas and Blondie McCoy. Um, Blondie McCoy is a, kind of a creative uh, genius and a skateboarder and the owner of a couple of brands including Thames MMXX, which is a UK based skateboarding uh, lifestyle brand that he created. Um, he's a skateboarder, quite good one actually. I think he's a skate for Palace for a while, um, but actually now he's on his own path, um, kind of doing his own thing with um, a combination of art, um, design, and retail his own business. So this is the Blind McCoy um, Indoor Gazelle. So this is in a kind of a, a custom shoe. He took a traditional gazelle and he decided to make it his own version of it. He took what was once a very classic shoe and he redid it. Now he did a Superstar previously, which I have, and the Superstar, he didn't play with too much. He kind of left the Superstar the way it was. And we did that, he kind of just changed the outside of it with the different materials. Um, but the, the Gazelle, he kind of took it from scratch to kind of decide, you know, kind of go all in on his own design. So he kind of took the traditional Gazelle indoor as the basics and kind of made it more, um, a, um, and more, more for skateboarding. So he decided to make a shoe that was good for him and what he does. So this is the shoe. So. It's a gazelle, as you can see, the extra laces here on the outside, it kind of throws them on top there, which is kind of a cool way to do it. Um, he does use his own brand, he can see he does the Blondie McCoy or Blondie branding on the side there, make it his shoe, which you know, you can do it and make your own shoe with your, own, with your name on it. Um, it has um, a kind of a more of a skate bottom on it than a traditional gazelle, I think. And the material is much like a nylon, like a rip stop nylon on the side, as well as a little bit of a, like a, looks like a, like a, leather in the front there on the sides, but I think it's more man-made than natural leather um, for skateboarding. So um, like he did with the um, Superstar, um, he designed it for skateboarding. So his idea is that the shoe should be skated in, which I don't skate anymore, obviously he's taught that decades ago, but you know, it's also meant to be a lifestyle shoe as well. So this is the first colorway that was released. It's a black on black with a little like a, like a gray bottom on it. Um, it came out, um, actually the original release was um, Confirmed in the U.S., but actually Thames, um, his U.K. brand, had a, a, if you were a previous customer, you could buy a pair in advance, and be guaranteed a pair, which I did. So I got this from them, and they delivered over here in Dubai. So thank you guys for delivering here, and um, glad to have it in the collection. I, I think uh, I like his style, I like what he does with his brand, and I like his own vision of what, what, what he's doing and everything. So this is it. It's a, just a very simple very elegant looking shoe, nothing too crazy about it, which you know I usually do a lot more crazier styles, but this is a nice, simple design from um, Blind and McCoy. So um, thank you very much for, the, no thank you, I paid for them, so you know, I can thank anybody for it, but again, I was happy to get a pair. Um, totally, what do you think, buddy? Like these, as you can tell, the traditional Adidas box, Toby approves the box, he's definitely gonna be in here for a while, uh, camping out until dinner time probably, so. With that, we'll call this one done. Um, please, um, nothing to do, just be yourself, have fun. I uh, hope you have a good day today. Mine's a pretty good day for me today. Hopefully you'll have a good weekend, a crystal weekend for you. And um, we'll talk to you soon. If you see me in the real world, say hi, and I'll say hi back to you. If not, leave a comment or send me a message and I'll let you know what's going on with Toby and me for the day. So hope you're well, and we'll talk to you next time. Alrighty, bye.